It's been nearly four months since President Biden ordered the full withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan, bucking almost all his senior advisors. But over the past week, at least eight provincial capitals have fallen to the Taliban. As Biden says, the Afghan government must fight for themselves. We trained and equipped with modern equipment over 300,000 Afghan forces. And Afghan leaders have to come together. They've got to fight for themselves, fight for their nation. The United States, I'll insist we continue to keep the commitments we made. But they did not keep their commitments. They're, they're, therefore, it nullifies what we actually dealt with, with during the Trump administration. Congressman Michael Waltz, Colonel in the military, now in the National Guard, serving Green Beret. Congressman, first off, the speed in which these provincial capitals are falling are stunning all observers, not you. Why is the, why is the Taliban making this progress? And what is the brutality uh, in their wake? Yeah, you know, the Taliban are masters of psychological warfare. This is all the psychology, Brian. And one thing that clearly Biden doesn't understand and those around him is you know, the, the Afghans could care less whether it's 2,000 American troops or 20,000 American troops. What they needed to hear is America's with you and standing with you. Uh, and what the Taliban do so masterfully, they'll take two bases, uh, surround them both, overrun them both, uh, one of them, they'll massacre everyone. The other one, they'll let everyone go. They video it and send it to the next group of army bases and say, you decide. At the end of the day, though, the Americans abandoned you and you get to pick your fate. And by doing that, they take base after base after base because of the psychology and the psychological warfare of it all. And they're killing women, enslaving women, women whose hair is exposed, goes on fire, right. and they burn them alive in their wake. Ambassador Khalilzad cut this deal. He yesterday told the Taliban to stop advancing. Do you think that'll be effective? Yeah, I think, uh, frankly, Ambassador Khalilzad needs to go. He needs to resign. He has clearly been wrong in this policy that he has pushed is has turned out to be the disaster that, that sadly many of us uh, foretold. But to your point on, well, the Taliban will be nicer this time. These are Islamic extremist thugs. They are closely aligned with Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda is going to come roaring in in the wake as the Taliban reinstitutes Sharia law, brutalizing women, brutalizing minorities, and executing everyone who has worked with the United States of America right. to stand for freedom. Uh, and the Al Qaeda, Biden's own intelligence community says Al Qaeda does intend to hit the United States again. Biden needs to reverse course, stop the slaughter, uh, and send back in American air power. It's basically down to Kabul, and there's a story in the Washington Post today, an all-girls school. They wonder about their fate. Sadly, they don't have to wonder. If we don't do anything, they will all be enslaved, and they will all be dead. And this was totally unnecessary. With a small force, with NATO's help, we were holding, had right. not had a casualty for 18 months. It allowed these people to have additional time to do this horrible thing, according to the Taliban, and that's go to school and get used to a culture where there might be a little bit of hope. This is, there, right. what it's also, you also told me too is important. It still can be saved. If you combine with the militias, the 12,500 elite forces still left with the sitting government, you can still repel Taliban like 2001, correct? Yeah, that's right. The Taliban are out in the open now. Uh, they're exposed. And, you know, in 2001, we had less than 100 uh, special forces embedded with them, but they're critical for calling in American air power. Uh, right now, Biden, uh, unexplainably, has given them one bomber Per night, that's like throwing a Band-Aid at a sucking chest wound. If we if we put serious American air power with a very small uh, group on the ground, we could take the Taliban down within weeks. I, I think about all you guys had suffered so much and gave so much yeah. to watch it thrown in the street because someone didn't take the time to listen to his aides. And for those people who say, well, Donald Trump put the plan in place, when has Joe Biden ever been shy about tearing up a Donald Trump plan? He does it every day, 24 hours a day. Uh, Michael, hopefully someone sane is listening yeah. to you and we try to save these people. Uh, thanks, Michael. Hey, thanks, Brian. All right.